All right, well, today is uh, Saturday, August the 19th, 2023, and right now at 10 p.m., we have a temperature of 74 degrees here in the foothills of Los Angeles. The uh, relative humidity is 65%. The dew point is 61 degrees. We have a barometric pressure of uh, 29.80. All right, so we're looking at uh, Hurricane Hillary out here which is no longer a hurricane. We'll take a look at this here on the, on the uh, Tropical Tidbits map. Uh, but uh, we can see that uh, this, this was a strong Category 4 yesterday, and now it's, uh, it was a Category 1. And uh, so just in a couple hours, they'll update the, uh, the National Hurricane Center map. But this thing is no longer a hurricane. They're uh, reporting 90-mile-an-hour winds with a central pressure of 968 millibar moving uh, north, northwest at 18 uh, miles per hour. And if we look at the uh, close-up map, Tropical Tidbits map right here, let's take a look at what actually happens. We can see a satellite transmitter interfering right there. It begins right adjacent to the eye wall. And we see that eye wall just disintegrates because this high pressure, this is being generated by probably a laser, a space-based laser. And uh, we see that the uh, it, it uh, heats, it superheats the the uh, water vapor there around that around that eye wall, and it just disrupts the lift. And there's just a complete disintegration of of that hurricane. So we're watching the very latest frames. And we see a total disintegration of Hillary. So if you look at the Doppler map right now, uh, we can see that uh, all day long it's been it's, it's looked like this. There's just been a pretty much a a barrier right here, and we can see the Doppler, uh, the WSR88D near Edwards Air Force Base, uh, which is chopping up the rain and evaporating all the rain. Also down in San Diego, this transmitter here. Along with the Yuma transmitter, you can see the, uh, the pie shape cut out there. That's the Yuma transmitter. And uh, these are high powered uh, microwave transmitters, and they're so powerful that they have to have FCC call signs. And so they have a four letter call sign, just like any radio station that's putting out, you know, 10,000 watts or 50,000 watts, like some of the uh, radio stations, like, for example, the Clear Channel radio stations, KFI. All the three-letter uh, AM radio stations are putting out 50,000 watts day and night. Uh, but uh, anyhow, uh, KYUX is the Yuma transmitter right here, microwave, and it's uh, you can see it's evaporating all the rain that would normally hit the uh, Phoenix area, which needs a lot of rain. They're, they're dry as a bone out there, hotter than hell. They've had... I don't know, two, three, four weeks of just straight 110 degree weather in Phoenix. And then we have uh, the uh, San Diego transmitter, which is KNKX. And then we have the Edwards Air Force Base transmitter up here. And uh, that one is uh, KEYX. All right, so these are all high power microwave, ground based microwave transmitters. They run at 2.4 gigahertz which is the same frequency as your microwave oven. They're very effective at heating water vapor in the air. All right, so all day long, starting at about 8.30, we saw the uh, the first bands of uh, Hillary moving in, along with a lot of uh, chemtrail aerosol haze. And all day long, we've been blanketed. It's been a complete whiteout with the haze, the uh, chemtrail aerosol haze. So we've not had a single drop of rain all day here in the LA area. And of course, uh, we should be having rain, but uh, it's not happening. We can see here, there's the San Diego transmitter is very effective. All these microwave transmitters are very effective at uh, evaporating the rain at the ground level. And this is how they can precisely regulate, precisely regulate how much rain a given area will have. And this plays right into the, the, uh, the bedding the weather derivatives and bedding scheme that is going on 
a lot of people don't know about that and uh, <clears throat> I just look up uh, weather derivatives and options uh, on, on the internet and you'll find out there's a lot of people involved there's billions of dollars uh, being made now uh, <clears throat> this hurricane for example you know there's there are disaster bonds uh, that uh, where, where countries and cities can buy uh, these bonds and there's a stipulation in the bond uh, that uh, says that if the central pressure of the hurricane rises above say 970 millibar then uh, if the hurricane hits the, the town and there's a lot of damage uh, the uh, the bond won't pay off and of course when we have this kind of nefarious activity going on completely unreported by Wigington, by Weatherman Plus, by Ryan Hall, y'all, and the uh, Pacific, uh, One Pacific, uh, what is it, Pacific uh, Northwest Weather, these goons, they're just uh, reporting, they're just uh, reporting the, uh, the narrative that's being handed out by the National Weather Service and the NOAA. They're not doing anybody any favors, really. We can see what's happening here, and uh, this is just overt weather control absolute control over the weather and uh, you know the same thing this what we see here the same thing could have been done on uh, Hurricane Ian last uh, I think it was last October uh, we saw that hurricane move into uh, Fort Myers category 5 I think it was right on the heels of a category 5 storm not a single WSR 88D was was active and that thing ran right in uh, to uh, Fort Myers at full throttle with a complete, you know, very symmetrical eye wall. You can see what's happening here as this thing approaches the, the world's largest uh, enclave of Democrats and Democrat donors. Uh, what we're seeing here is that, you know, complete destruction. But the good side of this is that uh, Las Vegas right here is getting some rain and also Lake Mead which is, has risen about 20 feet in the last few weeks and also uh, uh, this lake out here which I can't remember the name of right at the moment it's a big uh, uh, come on what is this this is Lake Powell for God's sake geez okay Lake Powell all right so we're hoping that uh, some of that rain fills up the, the uh, Hoover Dam area. And we see some scattered thunder showers up and down the Central Valley over Bakersfield. But again, the WSR 88Ds uh, are uh, in control and they are modulating the amount of rain that we will get. And that's all there is to it. None of these, these idiots on TV. ABC and CBS weather, KCAL weather, uh, Fox, LA weather. None of these, none of these idiots are reporting what's going on. You know, and uh, the the uh, the forecasting has gone all over the road. We had <clears throat> yesterday three inches of rain forecast for the LA foothill areas. That changed to uh, zero point eight inches this morning, early this morning, and now it's been creeping back up to uh, you know one inch and then one and a quarter and now it's up to 2.8 inches and now it's back up to three so they've been playing games all day long uh, the last couple of days with the rain totals that we're going to get but uh, nobody nobody's uh, connecting all the dots for for the viewers on tv so there it is watch the high pressure they put it right there and they just they just keep it right there as it moves north and that eye wall disappears one of the things that you'll you'll hear, uh, you know, on on these other weather channels on YouTube is that they call this an eye wall replacement cycle. Total idiocy. That's not an eye wall replacement cycle. That's just that's just uh, disintegration of the hurricane. But all up and down, you know, when this thing was moving up from from way down in Mexico, we saw the tar the uh, targeting by the by this transmitter and and they were calling that a, a, re, a eye wall replacement cycle which is just a lot of baloney that's they're making excuses for these these people that are controlling our weather basically these people i just mentioned earlier okay <clears throat> now here's the uh the water vapor map and uh we can see 
what's happening here in the water vapor map right there they uh they hit that by the time this thing gets up at near uh san diego it'll it'll just be a you know light rain maker we, we may not even get an inch of rain out of this but who knows there could be some thunderstorms uh it should it's you know it should have been raining this morning uh you know looking at the doppler once again uh, this morning uh this is what it looked like pretty much this morning as some of this was moving up but uh, all all day long the the western side of california has been completely dry We see up here in Cedar City, there's another WSR88D, these pie-shaped cutouts. You just run a straight edge, you know, and triangulate, and, and you know that it's right right there. I've got a whole list of these transmitters. You can find those on uh, on the Internet, all the call signs. None of these goofs on the uh, YouTube that report the weather, they don't talk about any of these uh, call signs that I'm talking about, these, these high-powered ground-based uh, WSR-88Ds. Not a single one of these goofs talks about that. Okay. All right, so that's the update. Um, uh, we'll, we'll do another update tomorrow as we, uh, we're expecting some rain, but I, I just, right now, it, it, it doesn't seem like it's going to be allowed into our area. That could change, in, you know, in 10, 15 minutes. It just all depends on what these people do uh, with these uh, transmitters. The ground-based ones, like I just said, and also the, the overhead transmitters from space. Take a look at there. They just completely disintegrate. There's actually clockwise rotation in this area uh, from all that descending superheated air. Complete stoppage of the rotation. It just stops. And we see a complete uh, disintegration of that eye wall disrupts the lift. And uh, of course, with the chemtrail aerosol spraying, uh, it just uh, it just doesn't allow lift in the atmosphere. And we, we will end up uh, with just maybe probably an inch of rain, I'm guessing. They were forecasting three to five inches, but I don't think that's going to happen. Even in the Big Bear area, they were talking about, uh, you know, six to eight to ten inches of rain. That still could happen, but there's so much manipulation going on, and, and, and like I say, the chemtrail aerosol spraying, that'll probably continue all the way down, you know, through tomorrow, and this thing will be out of out of here. It'll be moving up, uh, you know, through the U.S. We'll keep an eye on it. Okay, that's it.